So the Motorola Edge 40 is one of the many new smartphones that Motorola releases here and also the little brother of the Motorola Edge 40 Pro. So today we will take a look at all the specs, how good the cameras are and especially I want to check out how good you can play games on this phone. Now this phone is super pretty but first up let's see what we get inside the box. So of course the first thing that pops up when you open up the box is the smartphone. Right below that where you will find your 68 watt fast charging brick that will charge your phone up super fast and a normal USB type C charging cable. Also this phone comes with the usual paper stuff and a plastic case which is one of the best things and I really like that one about Motorola smartphones. You always get a free case if you buy a new smartphone. Now let's take a look at the, the design and some of the specs. So right here we have a 6.55 inch P OLED display with a crazy display refresh rate of 144 hertz. Now you can trim that down to 120 and 60. Like this you will definitely save some of your battery life. So this phone has an aluminum frame, a glass front and a plastic or an eco leather back with the Motorola logo right in the middle of it. On the back you will also find your dual camera setup which are mounted on an extra element. Now the eco letter it actually feels a little bit rubbery and you instantly have that smell in your nose of this letter. <laughs> but it smells good. Now you can see that this phone is very curvy. The display curves around the edges on the left and on the right side and the three physical buttons on the sides are rather small and very clicky if you push them. So let's give it a try. So you actually have a feedback if you push a button unlike with many other smartphones. Now let's go back to the display and the audio. Like I mentioned you get a pretty normal size display with 6.55 inches with HD plus resolution. But the crazy part about this one is the refresh rate. Not even my computer monitor has a 144 hertz refresh rate. Of course this will zap a lot of your battery life but therefore you can trim that down to 60 or 120 hertz which is still great and will protect your battery life a little bit more. Since we have a P all the display all your videos and games will look awesome on this phone. The contrast is great and there is a good balance between blacks and whites. The colors are very poppy and once again paired with the 144 hertz display. It makes it just that much more fun to watch videos on this phone. Now when it comes to the brightness the Edge 40 isn't quite as bright as other smartphones with a max of 1200 nits. So it could get a little tricky to watch videos on a sunny day. Now the Moto Edge 40 not only comes with a great display but it rocks a stereo speaker setup as well. So let's give that one a try. Yes and the health features of course. So without further ado let's get started. Alright let's start with some of the design and some specs. And you will also have Dolby Atmos. This one has a few presets that you can choose from but you can also leave it in the smart audio settings or you can even have a custom setup in case you know what you're doing. Now when it comes to the performance and the gaming the Moto Edge 40 is well rounded. In this phone you will find the MediaTek Dimensity 8020 and that means everything that you do on this phone feels super smooth. Now if it's swiping from tile to tile, if it's open up apps or anything like that. Now when it comes to the gaming you even have a game booster. So you can put it in a high performance mode but you can also block calls during your game sessions, adjust the touch sensitivity, take screenshots or record your screen. So I played the Asphalt 9 on the highest settings and I couldn't dream of anything better. You get all the special effects during the game, water splashes on the screen, crashes and stunts look great and you get no lag at all. I can only recommend this phone if you're looking for a mid-range smartphone with a good gaming mode. The Moto Edge 40 comes with a whole lot of features. So first up this phone runs on Android 13 and there are two different variations of this phone. Either 128 gigs of internal storage with 8 gigs of RAM or 256 gigs and it comes in the colors of black, green and blue. So I grabbed myself the 256 gig version and once we take a look into the storage settings you see that about 19 gigs are already used up by the system. So as I mentioned we get quite a few features. If you click on the Moto app and head over to the gestures you see that you can quick launch any app by double tapping your phone on the back side. You can quickly open up the camera by twisting your phone, flip the phone upside down to toggle on the D&D mode but you can also turn on the edge lights 
on the side to let you know whenever you get a message or notification. You also don't always need to tap the phone to read your notifications. You can just peek at the display and read it. So there are super many things that you can play around with and there are even more. As for the battery life, the Moto Edge 40 comes with a 4,400 mAh battery, which is a little bit smaller than what we get with the previous smartphones they released this year, and it's a little bit smaller than we get with the Pro model. Now, on your normal everyday usage, you should get enough battery life for one whole day, but I wouldn't bet on it that it will last any longer. Now, the benefit of this phone is that you get a 68 watt fast charging brick that charges your phone up in about 20 minutes. A fuck a fair compensation in my opinion. And as well as, the Moto Edge 40 supports 15 watts wireless fast charging. Not that fast. Now up to the cameras. Now what we got right here is a dual lens setup. No macro camera, just a primary 50 megapixel main camera, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The main camera can capture videos in 4K with 30 frames per second, just like the selfie camera, which is amazing. Now I do like the easy to understand camera settings. You have the usual AI smarts that will tell you when it's a good time to switch to another camera mode. Of course you get all of the standard camera modes such as a night mode, a pro mode, portrait or even a dual capture mode on which the picture quality might not be the best. So right here is a sample of shots that I took outside. I do think that the Motorola Edge 40 is doing a great job in the different light settings all around my town, inside my apartment or in a darker area. The shutter speed is nice and fast and definitely helps with moving objects. Also the ultra wide angle lens on all of my tries is doing a great job and you can use this one as a macro lens as well if you want to. Now as for the video quality, I would recommend sticking with 1080p with 60 frames per second since 30 frames on 4K doesn't really look all that great. So right here are a few examples. Alright, so right now I'm recording in 1080p with 60 frames per second and I guess that's the best solution for you if you want to capture some videos. Now you can do it in 4K with 30 frames per second with the selfie camera like this right now or you can use the main camera if you want to. But I would stick to this one. And guys, there we have it. That's the Motorola Edge 40. Now I've covered many other Motorola smartphones in the last couple of weeks like the Moto G53 or the G73. Just click this video right here to get right to it. And I guess with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.